Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Software Basics. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to update to the latest version for Angular, Angular Material, and any other dependencies that you may have. Okay, so as you can see, I have a project open, and the first thing you want to do is open up your package.json, and you should find that in the root of your Angular project. And you need to make sure you have your terminal open. As you can see, I already have this. If you're using VS Code like I am, you can just do a Control Alt and apostrophe to open it up. Or you can come to the top and open a new terminal. So before you do update Angular, what you should do is check your version. So to do that, we can do ng version. Now, everything I'm talking about in this video is in relation from Angular 9 to 10. However, if you do look at my package JSON, you can see I've already updated to Angular 10, but I literally just updated a few minutes ago, so I went from 9 to 10. So once you've checked your version, the next thing I would recommend is you head over to this documentation. So it is updates.angular.io, and then you can just simply select your version and show update and you can see it'll give you some instructions on how to update a version so we're going to take this here ng update angular core and angular cli so if we head back to vs code paste that in now if you do get this message where it says repository is not clean please commit or stash any changes before update but if you don't want to commit and stash you can just simply add this flag which is dash dash allow and then dash dirty so as you can see it says it's already updated for me and then when it comes to angular material the best thing to do is just look at your package json and this will also apply for pretty much any other dependencies as well i think angular cli and angular core is the one that you kind of well i would advise you to go on the website and also there's the full documentation page as well which is angular.io forward slash cli forward slash update uh, here you can get more description on the different flags as well that you can append to it so for example, you can see I have allow dirty, which is what I used. But anyway, let's get back to Angular Material. And to do that, it's pretty much the same thing. So ng, and then just simply copy the name from the key value pair in the package JSON and paste that there. And it should tell me I've already updated to the latest as well. So as you can see, I forgot to add update as well. So put that in. And of course, again, I also forgot the dash dash allow dash dirty. And you'll see that this should update. And of course, it'll tell me that I'm already on the latest version. So you can see I'm already up to date. So with any other dependencies, it is pretty much the same thing. So for example, Prime NG, I actually haven't updated this yet. So what I'll do is ng update and then just put in prime ng again dash dash allow dash dirty now this one might take a while because i actually haven't updated prime ng so if we head back over to the documentation you can see there is actually a flag called dash dash all now the first way i showed you is if you're just updating each dependency one by one um, it's probably the most safest way to go about it because, you know, obviously updating dependencies might break your project. So I'll just show you it this way as well. Now, this project, it's not something that's very complex or that I'm, you know, really in depth into. So we'll do ng and then paste dash dash all. And you can see actually here it says dash dash allow and then uppercase dirty so you could actually do it this way as well so we'll copy that and then do a dash dash and paste and press enter so this will update all packages i keep forgetting to put in update so update and 
and there you have it it's updating all packages so you can see i got this message here migration failed incompatible period dependencies found and that is one of the reasons why you wouldn't use dash dash all well i wouldn't recommend it anyway and yeah but you can actually force it if you want by adding the force flag but yeah i think the first option which is the one that i initially showed you guys is the best option but yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you have any questions at all do leave it down in the comment section below and of course don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one